first of all, I'm feeling as if some of you who are single, it's like too busy to date. Some of you who are single, too busy to date. I don't really like the options that are available. I tried dating, you know, the past four months and um, I'm not able to meet anybody that is really, you know, uh, that is really outstanding, that really stands out because, you know, you do have really high standards as well and beauty is only skin deep so it's going to take a little bit more than just you know physical attraction to really lure you and, and allow you to you know want to see somebody long term so that's for you singles i just feel like you know there is a sense of like waiting and then kind of like half dating half keeping your eyes peeled but overall the month is uh, the responsibilities and the duties of the month are really catching up to you. So you might not have the opportunity to date and to really um, have fun. And then I also feel for others in relationships, I am sensing that there is like a lot of people involved in the relationship. So you might be in an open relationship. You might have like friends with benefits type of uh, arrangements. And um, they might, it's like you have children, they have children. So there's there are also exes factored into the relationship as well. So it's like, uh, it's a very crowded relationship. That's what it feels like to me. I don't see like there's jealousy or anything like that. But I feel like it's it's a crowded environment and it can feel a little bit overwhelming. OK. OK, so you've got a lot of people. I, I need to pull out a few more cards. So who is this person? OK, you've got a lot of people, so it does feel very, very crowded. OK, so let me talk about this first. I have here the Knight of Swords, and this is the first card that came out of the deck. So I have an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This is somebody who's like, they see what they like and they go right after it, okay? It's like actions first, let's talk later. So I feel like this is somebody who's actually very, very honest, very straightforward. They're very direct with the way that they behave. If in the past there might have been, you know, uh, some misunderstandings or you feel like, I'm sensing like they, they kind of uh, destabilize you a little bit. They move really fast. They do things in a very quick, swift manner. And also, you know, here today, gone tomorrow type of an energy. And the emotion, I'm sorry, the mental connection is really strong, but the emotional connection is kind of lacking. And I also feel like some of you like this person, they're likable, but you're not really sure about where their heart is. You're not really sure about how they feel about you. And you're not really sure about where you stand with them, where they stand with you. So it's somebody that is very difficult to read and it's difficult to, um, to form an emotional connection with them. I feel like they really like you. They're really, really, really into you because what's coming up here with the page of coins is that they want to build something with you. And I also feel as well, this is not so much, you know, like a person, but this is an energy. Um, the relationship seems from, from your end, like they, they seem a little bit nonchalant about the relationship. They can take it or leave it, but I do feel that they really care about you. And I can feel, I, I feel like this person, um, the way they live their life, there's some financial insecurity that it's stirring up in you. So they might be very frivolous with money. They might make a lot of money. You might not be on equal footing with them when it comes to money and finances. And as a result of it, it just feels a little bit lopsided financially. And so if you're dealing with this person, there might be some financial considerations that are um, interfering in your relationship or that are becoming problems in the relationship. But it feels to me like this person really does like you. They care about you. Okay. However, crowning this reading is something that you are thinking about. We have here a fire sign. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries or a Leo. This is somebody that you are thinking about. It's the apple of your eye. This can be their sun, moon or rising. It's linked with the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Cups is the great love, the big love. 
And it's like the love that really, you know, teaches you what true love really means. It's about sacrifice and commitment and, you know, getting mad at each other, but still being very civil to each other, still loving the other person, still caring about them. And, you know, like um, wanting to choke them when they act up, but you don't do it because you really love them. So I feel like you have somebody here, very straightforward, very honest. And I'm also sensing like there's an element here about <clears throat> there, there's a sense of like, there's really strong attraction here. They're constantly pursuing you. They're very nonchalant as well. And I feel like, you know, they don't hold grudges. They get mad and then they get over it. And I also feel like when you're with this person, you feel very safe, mainly because they're constantly pursuing you. So it's very flattering when somebody is pursuing us and they're very honest with you as well, okay? So I feel like you have this person in mind that you really, really, really love and you really, really care about. And for some of you, you might be waiting for this person to reach out, to come back. You might be waiting for this person to, you know, give you that offer of stability, offer of a relationship. So if you're in a relationship with them, things are actually really, really good. But there are some financial considerations here that you're trying to sort out. And if you're not in a relationship with this person, I feel like there's really strong chemistry between the two of you. Um, but I feel like you expect more of a commitment from them. You want a sense of direction. Where are we going with this relationship? And they're coming to you. And until they can give you that commitment... I feel like you're holding yourself back a little bit and that's fine because you know don't settle for what uh the other person is not able to give you like don't um don't shortchange yourself don't settle for less if that's what you really want um in the foundation here what we have is the hierophant we have the knight of coins and we have as well the sun so this is something that we know to be true. There was a relationship here with the Hierophant, which is like a broken marriage, a broken engagement, a, um, a separation or a divorce. And I have here an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. And I'm sensing for some of you, this person is, I feel like if it's like a separation, they thought you were going to come back. But you're just like, nope, I found somebody else, so I'm going to try to move on. And I'm also feeling as well, there is like no harsh feel. It's like there aren't any harsh feelings. I'm sorry, I can't speak. There aren't any harsh feelings between the two of you. But I feel like you're at a point where you're trying to move on. You're trying to maintain a cordial relationship with them. You might know each other's families, for example, and you're trying to, you know, not be hostile to each other. You might have children together and you're trying to be very cordial for the sake of the children. And so there aren't any hostilities or any bad feelings between the two of you. But I just feel like it's also a relationship where you can be civil and you can be cordial with each other, which is good. Um, the feelings are not there anymore from your end, but I feel like the other person feels bad about something that happened and the other person feels almost as if there is that it could be fixed, that it could be reconciled. Okay. But I feel like you're moving on. You have a lot of options that are on the table for you. And you also have a person that you truly love right here, this fire sign, um, in the past, what we have is the High Priestess as well as the Six of Cups. The High Priestess is this rude awakening. It's like information coming to light, discovery, things that we kind of turn a blind eye to. They kind of, um, they start to sparkle. They start to um, glare at us, okay? And they're, they're very, very difficult to ignore. And it's linked up as well with the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups in the reverse usually indicates Kind of like one day looking at a person and just like, what did I see in them? They weren't all that great. Why was I so in love with them? Why was I so attracted to them? Why was I so smitten by them? Why did it take me so long to get over that relationship? Why was I even with them to begin with? So I feel like there's this rude awakening here in the past. Um, some information came to light that also severed a relationship. It was like irreversible. And I also feel like this is a moment where, you know, it's it's almost like losing that sense of innocence in a relationship. 
And I feel for some of you, you were with somebody and there might have been a third party um, situation involved. The high priestess is usually like a mistress. And um, I feel like it might be another woman that's involved in the picture. It could be like a mister that's also involved. But I feel both of these energies denote to me a very feminine person, like another, a third party that might be a woman involved in the relationship. And it created rifts between relationship partners. And I feel like it's something very um, uh, final. So the relationship could not come back together and, and you, you have moved on. You're trying to move on here. We have an air sign that is actually very, that's chasing you. That's what it feels like to me. They're chasing you and you have options is what I'm saying. I have here an air sign and an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you have a fire sign that you really like. So I do feel a lot of people, this is a crowded relationship. Okay. And you want to make sure you're careful about who you want to move forward with and that the other person doesn't find out. So if you're dealing with, you know, like if you have recently left a relationship and you're trying to build, you're trying to move on, I'm sensing you have opportunities that are opening up. You have an air sign and an earth sign that is really liking you that, you know, is pursuing you. But you have your eyes out waiting for another person come to come back in to give you more of a commitment. And what's happening here is while you're waiting for this, you have two people that are really showing you that they want to be with you. And the air sign seems to me like a better option because we have here the hangman, which is you no longer waiting for this person, this fire sign. We have you kind of like picking yourself up of your own bootstraps from your own bootstraps and just trying to move on and getting out there, start dating and start mulling over the options that you have. I have as well this earth sign that might be making a comeback. And if you've had a separation from them, I feel like they want you to come back. Okay. And I feel that it is sincere from their end. And I do feel that they miss you. But when you're with this person, it feels like they might be critical. They might chip away at your self-esteem. And if the love is no longer there, you're not going to be faking it and you're not going to be going back to it. So we have some things here, like a really crowded relationship. You have a lot of options that are on the table. For those of you who are single, I would say, you know, date and date new people. It feels to me like you have an ex that is calling you back in wanting to set the record straight, wanting to communicate with you, but I feel like they want to get back together. And I feel a very strong uh, earth sign energy here. I'm also feeling as well that um, you're not happy with it, okay? And I'm also feeling as well with this situation, it's almost like you want to go out, you want to have fun, you want to forget about the past but you're not really looking for a um, committed relationship just yet because I feel like some of you are waiting, waiting for just this one person to make, to, to re-enter your life. And I don't feel like it's an old person from the past. I feel like it's somebody that it's understood that you will wait for them whenever they're ready to have a relationship with you. You will be there and you will reciprocate, but it's just a matter of them, you know, being on the same page as you. So you have... A, quite an interesting love story unfolding here and just a lot of people. So I feel like this is going to apply to many of you, um, you know, in different scenarios. I do hope that you can sort things out and, you know, not put your life on hold anymore. You know, go with new options, okay? Make yourself available to date anew and make yourself available for new people that want to be with you. Singles, we have earth signs and air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like Virgo, Capricorn might be good options for you. Okay. And I'm also feeling as well, um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, um, very dynamic mix, but I feel like, you know, um, Scorpios and air signs, the chemistry is really strong, especially like Scorpio and Aquarius because they're polar opposites, but they're also both fixed signs they're both stubborn and so the energy exchange is really strong it's a very dynamic mix but the relationship requires a lot of 
self-awareness for it to work and i feel like at this point you're not ready for anything emotional and long lasting and heavy you're not ready for that and so i would say like the aquarius option might not be the best option because it requires a lot of work okay with gemini and libras i feel like it can be short term but the the um, chemistry will kind of naturally fizzle out and there are just too many incompatibilities between you and air signs so the earth sign virgo and capricorn i feel are very very good matches for you okay i'm gonna leave it at that um scorpios i hope it is helpful and you know take care of yourself I'll be back for the mid-month reading and I hope the financial situation will clear up somewhat. Okay, so I hope that for you guys. Take care of yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.